3D printers, like cars, require some standard maintenance if they're going to continue printing. In this video, I'm going to show you what you need to do to keep your Bamboo Lab P1 series printer in tip-top shape. Phil here in the layer by layer layer, where I'm starting out my maintenance routine by cleaning out the bottom of the printer. This should be done on an as-needed basis. Or, if you're like me, when you decide to film a video for YouTube, because clearly I've not been doing this regularly, despite keeping an otherwise spotless workspace. Okay, that's enough of that. Now I've made an army of Pikachus, a Minecraft movie creeper, and Homer Simpson's donut, just to name a few things, and I don't think I've cleared out the bottom even once. To make this job easier, I found this print on Maker World, Link in the description, along with links to all the other things featured later in this video. It basically just makes sweeping things out a little bit easier, as you can see here. With the debris cleared out from the bottom, the next thing to look to is the fans. It's recommended to check the fans for debris weekly. If there's any debris, you'll want to clean them using compressed air, or this handy dandy thing I got on Amazon, so that I don't have to use compressed air cans. To clean the fans, first turn off the printer. With that done, keep the fans in place and blow air over them to clean them off. While you're looking at the fans, give the extruder a look. If it has some debris, you can also blow some air in there to clear it out a bit. With the fans and extruder cleaned, it's on to the x-axis and animate carbon rods. Not that carbon rod, these are the rods that the print head moves across. This should be done about once a month or so, but like with most of these things, it depends on how much you're printing and what filament you're printing with. To clean it up, you'll need a lint-free cloth and some isopropyl alcohol. You want to get the cloth wet with the alcohol and then gently rub the rods to clear them of debris. You can move the printhead out of the way as needed. It's important that you do not add grease to the rods. I repeat, do not add grease. Just let them air dry and you'll be on your way. The X-axis rods may not need greasing, but the Z-axis screws certainly do. You'll want to do this every three months or so. You'll need a lint-free cloth and some SuperLube 92003 silicone lubricating grease with PTFE. Link to that on Amazon in the description. The first step is to get any dust or debris off of any of the three lead screws using your lint-free cloth. With the screws cleaned, you want to home the printer. Now that it's homed, you'll spread some of the silicone lube all the way around a spot on each screw. Then you need to lower the bed all the way and then home it again to really spread it all around. If you'd like, you can do this movement procedure a few times to really make sure it gets all over. Now we move on to working on some of the other rods, specifically the Z and Y axis linear rods. This should also be done about every three months. For this, you'll need your trusty lint-free cloth and some SuperLube 52004 synthetic lightweight oil. You'll want to start by getting the microfiber cloth damp with the isopropyl, and then you want to wipe down each of the four rods. After this, you'll definitely want to wait for the isopropyl to dry and then move any pieces that were in the way out of the way so you can clean all of it. With the isopropyl alcohol dry, you'll then want to use the SuperLube 52004 oil to apply a thin and uniform layer all across the rod. This is very important because if you don't do it, it could cause rust to develop. While you have the isopropyl alcohol out, there's one last thing to do with it. Clean the camera. This is an easy thing to knock out and only needs to be done on an as-needed basis. But if you've already got the supplies out, you might as well do it. You just need to take a cotton swab and get it wet with isopropyl alcohol, and then just swab the camera to clean it off. Easy as that. The last bit of maintenance is the filament cutter. This should be checked every three to five rolls of filament printed, and possibly sooner if you're using particularly abrasive filament like carbon fiber. To start, you just pop off the cover of the extruder. Then you unscrew the lever. You don't have to do it at this awkward angle, this is just for filming. After the lever is loose, you're able to pop the old cutter out and then align the new one before pushing it back in. Screw the lever back in and put the cover back on and you're done. Your printer should now be in tip-top shape and ready to print for hours to come. There are links to the items you'll need in the description. If you consider this video useful, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like, and please consider subscribing. If you want to know if nozzle size really matters, then check out this video here.